Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Poke the Monster and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of tins that I picked up from Walgreens. So Walgreens the past couple of days was having a 40% off sale and I uh, unfortunately only got there pretty much by the end of the sale so I didn't have a lot to choose from but I did get a total of four tins. I'm going to be opening up two in this video and then two in another video. So I got two Gengar originally and two of them Machamp. Um, so I'm going to be opening up one of each right now. And then uh, I've got another little special surprise for you guys in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But let's take a look at these and see what we get. So if I'm not mistaken, in these you get the card and I think three booster boxes. As you can see, they're a little shallower than most tins. So I don't think you get four. Nope, you get three booster packs and the uh, one of three special edition cards in this one. Or these, I should say. So let's get this completely opened up and go from there. Ah, uh, really? The card's already bent? What the heck is that? <sighs> I'm already a little upset. And there's no online code. Okay, so there's no online code, and you have a bent card already. Sweet. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got a breakpoint, point, a breakthrough, and an ancient origins. So let's take a look and see what we get at the packs, and then I'm going to show you the last card at the end. All right, so there's the code right there. All right, so that's that one. One, two, and three. And I don't know, is it two? Is it three? We'll figure it out. All right, so, and bam, all right. So we got a Metang, a Metang, I don't know, uh, Energy Recycler, a Wind, uh, sure. we're just going to Malmar, uh, Balte, Baltre, Baltre, Baltoy, Baltoy, there we go. A Beldum, a Gallark, a what in the world, Relicanth, I don't know. Anyway, so while I'm kind of going through all of these, ooh, Ooh, nice little reverse hollow, and our rare is a Volcar, Volcara, wow, well, well, hold on. Our rare is a Volcarona, Volcarona, there we go. Volcarona is our rare card, very nice. All right, so something that I'm going to be doing a little different, The um, I've actually decided that I'm going to be sticking with a couple of the small videos and doing more of them. Um, I know recently I kind of missed the two videos a day type of thing, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to be getting back on track with that. It's uh, it's a little hard to kind of, you know, pump out all of that content for you guys because uh, I, I fortunately, unfortunately, have a day job that I have to do 80 hours a week. Um, and, uh, it's kind of tough to do that and open up tons of Pokemon content for you guys and edit it all and get it up on YouTube. So if I do miss a day here or there, please don't, don't kill me for it. I'm doing my best. All right. So we got a break point again, an ancient origins and a breakthrough in the second. What am I doing? You see what's going on? I completely lost track that I only opened up one pack what is going on? All right, let's open up the packs. Sweet mother of pearl. So I'm going to skip pretty much all the cards, the commons, and I'm just going to go straight to the rares. But there's your code for that pack. One, two, three, and two. All right, so we've got a puzzle of time. That's an interesting card. I'm going to keep that one on the side so I can read that one later. A Aromatis. Sure. Got that. A Gyarados Spirit Link. That is my first ever Gyarados Spirit Link. I'm going to have to keep that one to the side. A Reverse Holographic is a Skrelp. Sure. A Skrelp. And our rare is in full art. Awesome. What the? Dakari? Darkra? Darkra. I don't even know what that is in awesome looking full art though holy crap i gotta get this guy in a sleeve before i start uh, touching anything all right so we've got a full art that is awesome i'm super ecstatic about that that is really cool i'm wow kind of kind of speechless once again kind of speechless once again all right so we got a full art we're gonna let him sit back there with uh 
the Pikachu Mario pack or cards that we opened up. If you guys didn't get a chance to see that previous video was uh, opening up the Mario Pikachu box that was only released in Japan and technically never announced. Um, so definitely head over to the previous video and get a look at that. All right, so a Gramble followed by a Judge. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that Judge on the side too. Frogadier, nice. Frogadier, very, very nice. Our Reverse Hollow is another Rainbow Energy. Awesome, this is my second one and I really wanted to add another one to my collection. And our Rare is a Dodrio, okay. So a rare is a Dodrio non-hollow, whatever, no big deal. Um, so the card that we got out of that box was the Gengar holographic that is clearly bent, which kind of sucks because somebody could not put it in the tin correctly, but it's okay. We got a Gengar. I do have another one. Hopefully the other one's going to be in better condition than this one, but that's a really cool looking Gengar. I really like that. So I'm going to keep that over there. So the second box that I opened up prematurely is the Machamp box, which is another really cool Machamp. I like that. I've got a couple of very similar artwork ones. I don't know if it's from the same series or not, but Got three more packs for you guys. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna skip the commons in these cause they seem to all be the same. So I'm gonna skip the commons and definitely just go straight to the uncommons and the rares. And hopefully we get something really neat in those one, two, three, two, short. All right, so we got an Ace Trainer followed by a Rodham, a what? A Skeptile Spirit Link. Okay. Verse Holographic is a Magic Harp. You know, I can never be mad about getting a Reverse Holographic Magic Harp. It's just a really cool card. I love Magic Harp. And our rare, really same exact card from the... What? We, we just got one of these in the other tin. Ugh. You know what? I'm not even going to say the name again. I'm, I'm just... I'm a little upset right now. All right, we're gonna go to Breakpoint. Hopefully Breakpoint will give us, if that's the case, hopefully Breakpoint gives us another full art because that seems to be the trend now. Let's hopefully uh, get another full art. There's the code for you guys. One, two, three, and two. All right, let's get something good. Frogadier, first card. Slowbro, second card. Third card is another Aromatis. I think it's an Aromatis. I don't know. Reverse Holographic is a Pangoro. Very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. And our rare is a Seismitoad. Okay. I, I mean, it's a Seismitoad, which is cool and all, but it's... I, I love how the Reverse Holographic is a rare, and I like it more than the Seismitoad rare card that was given. Only reason why I know Seismitoad, though, is because I watched one of the Pokemon Championships, and the guy that actually won was against a Whalar deck, and he had a Seismitoad deck, which was pretty cool. All right, so here's the last pack of the two tins, and let's hope we get another full art, maybe at least just the holographic. I don't know. Cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully we get something worth it. And we got a Rainbow Energy followed by a Braxen, and then a Spupa, Goldeen, holy crap, I have not seen a Goldeen in a long time, holy crap, all right, so reverse holographic Goldeen, very nice, and our rare, dun, 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 dun. all right, it is a holographic, and I will definitely take it, a Miss Magus, Miss Magus, I don't know, Sure, we'll go with that. Miss Magus, holographic, even though I've gotten tons of them, it's okay. I'm not going to complain because it's still, like I said, is a holographic. So, just to take a quick little recap, where the heck did I put that full art card? I don't even know where the heck I put it. I was so happy about it, and I don't know where, what in the world I did with it. But, oh, wow. Nice. Did it. All right, so there's the full art. There's the one full art we got out of these two tins. Not bad, not bad. I like it. It's a pretty cool looking card. And then we got the only holographic rare that we got was the Miss Magus holographic rare that we just got out of the last pack. We got a really cool Pangoro reverse holographic. 
Very nice. And then the two cards that came with the tins. Unfortunately, they only had two Gengar and two Machamps. They did not have a Gyarados. I really would have loved to have gotten the Gyarados as well to complete the trio, but it's okay. That's not a big deal. So what's going to be happening in the next video? Because I told you I got two more of these tins, but I'm not going to be doing that. What I am going to be doing though is I was surprised by one of my very good friends and he got me a whole bunch of mystery power boxes. So I've got another five of these to open up and I'm gonna be opening up all five of them in the next couple of videos. So definitely stay tuned for that because we had some pretty wicked packs and pretty wicked pulls out of the last five. So as always guys, over there is gonna be the subscribe button over there is going to be a previous video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, peace out, guys.